Hello everyone, it's Elena with All Things by Faith. I am, I tried to go live tonight. I notified some of my subscribers and told them I was going to be going live. But apparently uh, I'm just gonna have to post a video because YouTube is not allowing me to go live for whatever reason. So we are doing our own fireworks show and it's really loud. Um, all of our neighbors uh, around us and down the street and um, everything, they are uh, setting off mortars and there's a lot of guns and things going off so um, it's very loud but um, the other side told me I was going to do this tonight and they gave me and told me the topics they wanted me to talk about and um, first off they want me to share a quick um, video and hopefully you guys will be able to hear it that the constitution will be saved as prophesied by Joseph Smith. But it will not be saved in Washington. Of this church, men and women, who will subscribe I will post this link to later to how the Constitution the will be saved by Ezra Taft, ben Ezra Taft Benson, but this is how they wanted me to start it off. The Constitution of the United States as a sacred document. To me, the words are akin to the revelations of God, for God has placed his stamp of approval on the Constitution of this land. I testify that the God of heaven sent some of his choicest spirits to lay the foundation of this government, and he has sent other choice spirits, even you who hear my words this day, to preserve it. We, the blessed beneficiaries, face difficult days this beloved land, a land which is choice above all other lands. It may also cost us blood before we are through. It is my conviction, however, that when the Lord comes, the stars and stripes will be floating on the breeze over this people. May it be so. And may God give us the faith and the courage exhibited by those patriots who pledge their lives and fortunes that we might be free. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Okay, so I don't know how well you guys could hear that. That was Ezra Taft Benson. I will put a link below this video. I'm super annoyed that they, uh, for whatever reason, YouTube's not allowing me to go live, so it'll probably take me a couple hours to upload this. But um, I will upload it um, afterwards, and hopefully they allow, um, hopefully they will allow uh, my video to go up because I'm going to be doing music in this video and I just want to say that all rights to all the music that I'm playing go to the artists. I don't own any of these songs um, but I am putting music in here because that's what uh, the angels wanted me to do tonight uh, was to put in, uh, music. My son is not here. My daughter is here. My other daughter is not. My daughter and um, her friend are here. And um, we are celebrating. And as I'm sure you can hear, everybody in my neighborhood and up and down the street is celebrating. And you know what that makes all of us? Makes all of us, according to the law, outlaws and dissidents. Because we are not supposed to be setting off fireworks. We are not supposed to be celebrating. We are not supposed to be celebrating uh, the 4th of July, uh, which is basically celebrating our independence and revolution. The reason the other side wanted me to do a video on this today, 
um, is because they wanted me to thank all of you who may be listening, who very well may lose your lives as patriots over the next several years during the tribulations, and that uh, you may well lose your life fighting for freedom, inalienable rights that were given to us by God, as well as Hang on just a second. The lights went out on me as I was reading my note. Um, anyway, uh, you well may lose your lives. You will be considered outlaws and dissidents in the very near future. And um, the angels wanted to give a shout out to all of you who will defend freedom and the innocence and the right to worship Almighty God. And our Constitution. And um, I wanted to share a story. They reminded me of something that they wanted me to talk about. When I first started this channel, I was in conversation uh, with a, I'm not going to mention his name, but it was a person that I was talking to that had retired from the um, Marines. And he had uh, fought in several different um, battles over in Iraq and there was actually a book um, published about the unit that he was in. I can't remember what unit it was or what the book's name is right now. But um, he talked to me about one of the miracles that happened to him and he'd never shared it with anybody else. And when he was... Um, on a battlefield one time, he was taking heavy fire, and uh, while he was taking heavy fire, he actually got pinned down, and um, he really thought he was going to die, and um, Anyway, he thought he was going to die. He'd been pinned down. He was taking heavy fire. And um, there was nowhere for him to, to go. He was getting it from all sides. And uh, all of a sudden, he heard a very loud voice tell him to get up and move. And he didn't know where the voice was coming from. But he literally could not get up and move because he was taking heavy fire. And... Um, voice came to him again and said, get up and move. And he didn't. He couldn't. And he was too afraid to get up and move. And at that point, uh, his guardian angel, which he never knew he had one, uh, picked him up basically by the scruff of his uh, uniform at his neck by the, the jacket or it, whatever, his uniform, and um, picked him up and started dragging him across the battlefield. Now, he started running because the angel told him to move and run, but his feet, he noticed, were about 18 inches off the ground. And But he was running, he was making the motion of running, but his feet were not touching the ground. And he looked up to his right and he saw a ginormous being, an angel, that had a hold of his clothing and was, uh, was carrying him across the battlefield. And the reason they wanted me to share this with you tonight is because, unfortunately, friends, brothers and sisters, battle is coming to our door again to defend freedom and our right to, to worship God the Almighty according to the dictates of our own conscience. And um, they want us to know that we will not be alone when we're fighting, that we will have angelic help, that we will have help from the other side, and that all we have to do is ask, that we will never be alone, 
And again, they're saying right now, they, I'm seeing them in my mind's eye and they're actually saluting all of you who are listening, who will pick up arms in defense of the innocent and those who cannot defend themselves and who will pick up arms to defend their nation against foreign intruders and all enemies, foreign and domestic, who wish to take our rights away from us. All those who work for the adversary, who wish to uh, to take our rights and our freedoms. And I am just so happy that I live in this country. I'm so happy that I'm not the only outlaw and dissident in my neighborhood here in Post Falls, Idaho. Um, everybody here is basically thumbing their nose at authority and lighting off fireworks. And I'm sure you can hear all the fireworks and the loud booms all around us besides just what we're setting off. So happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy 4th from me, my family, and from the angels. And they just again want you to know that they salute you. They again just want you to know that they salute you um, for being willing to defend this nation and to stand up to tyranny and to stand up for what's right. And they want you to know that you have their support. Fireworks go out to everybody who's basically uh, living under martial law and a police state right now to where they really can't. There's a lot of states where they really can't do this, um, California being one of them, where they will get arrested, they will get fined. And luckily, even though our governor has put out, you know, put out the decree that we're not supposed to do this. The local law enforcement isn't uh, enforcing that. So uh, I just want to wish everybody a 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. And um, earlier today, I put out another video. And I think I, it, they gave me the name for it. Um, they called it Happy Revolution Day. Because they want you to understand that there's another revolution coming. There is another revolution coming and it is at our doors. Patriots, friends, and followers of Christ. It is, it is upon our doorstep. And uh, we have to be willing to stand up for what's right. Prepare yourselves. Prepare your families. Get right with God. Get right with your Savior. Trust him. Trust your angels. Know that you're not alone. Know that we will prevail. And I will put that link below to the Ezra Taft um, Benson video that I played at the beginning. All you heard was the audio of it. But um, I am just filled so much with emotion right now. I, I feel like I'm going to cry. Um, I love this nation. I love my freedom. I've always been a rebel. Now I know why. Because <laughs> I was definitely saved for this day through all of my trials, all of my accidents, all of my illnesses. Um, all the things that I've been through in my life prepared me for this time. And I know that all the things all of you have been through have prepared you as well. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.